Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 11, lesson 2, draw lines of fit. After this lesson, you need to be able to use a scatter plot to draw a line that closely fits the data and predict values that are not present in the original data set. Let's learn lines of fit. When data are collected, the points graphed usually do not form a straight line, but they may approximate a linear relationship like we saw in the last lesson. A line of fit is a line that goes through the center and is very close to most of the data points. In fact, we want the line to be as close to as many points as possible. It models the relationship between the variables on the scatter plot. So maybe you were wondering in the last lesson, how did I know where I was trying to draw the line? Well, that was making a line of fit. I was trying to get my line to be as close to as many of the dots as possible. This scatter plot shows the weights and ages of baby elephants. To draw a line of fit, draw a straight line so that about half of the points are above the line and half of the points are below the line. Since most of these points here lie close to the line, we would say that this model or this line is a good fit for the data. Here we have another scatter plot showing the number of visitors to a ski resort on days with various high temperatures. We can see here the points are more spread out, but if we drew a line and we're trying to get as many above it or below it, in fact, I might say there's too many below compared to above, maybe we should draw it down this way a little bit more. Either way, if I draw it, most of the dots here, even though it tends to follow a pattern where as temperature increases, the visitor decreases, that would make sense, there's probably not as much snow. Wherever we draw the line, when I'm looking at this, the dots are not nearly as close to this line, so this model might not be as good of a fit. Here we have another scatter plot showing the relationship between test scores and the number of hours that someone slept the night before. Here we can see we have our dots. A lot of these follow a pattern, except for one over here. If we have an outlier, so at this case, four hours of sleep got a score of 99, we could ignore our outlier and make our line of best fit through the rest of the points. And again, we're making it through the middle as best as possible. Ignoring our outlier, our dots are pretty close to our line, so this line would be a good fit for the data. Example one, draw lines of fit. The table shows the number of hours people trained in a month and their 5K race time. Draw and assess a line that seems to represent the data. Let's make our scatter plot. We can see down here their training time is on the x-axis, so that will be our x, and our race time is our y-axis. Let's plot our points. So 5 goes with 41, 8 with 34, 12 with 35, and we have the rest. 18 with 27, 25 with 28, and so on. So again, I just took these as if they were my coordinates. 5, 41. Now let's make our line. Does there appear to be a linear association? So if I make my line, it goes approximately like this. My dots are about at the same amount above as below, and I got it as close as I could. Does there appear to be a linear association? Yes, this appears to have a negative association, since as training increases, the race time decreases. It has a negative association. Next, let's assess our line of fit and determine if this line is a good model for the data. So, do most of the points lie close to that line? I would say yes, there are at least three that are pretty much touching the line, and a couple others that are real close. So yes, most of them lie really close to the line. This is a good model for our data. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and use the data table to construct a scatter plot and create a line of fit. Then determine if the model is a good fit. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. So first, your scatter plot should look something like this. My x values start around 5,000 and just over 7,500. So we need to make sure we go from 5,000 to about 8,000. I should put my little zigzag squiggly to make sure that I'm showing that there's a break in the graph. And for my speed, looking at my things, low point of 37, high point of 58. So I could probably start around 30 or 35, going up to 60. 65, 70. So here we chose to go from 30 to 75. Again, I should put my little break in the graph showing that I'm starting at 30. 
Plotting my points would look like this, and drawing my line through would be similar. When you're drawing your line, you should always make sure you're using a straight edge for a line of fit to make it as best as possible. Then for part B, assess the line of fit. Since most of these points are fairly close to the line, we could say that this line model is a good fit for the data. Let's learn. Make conjectures using lines of fit. A line of fit can also be used to make conjectures about the data that are not graphed on the scatter plot. So here we can see a scatter plot showing the distance traveled as our x coordinate and the cost of the ticket for the airplane for our y value. If we create a line that goes through the points we're showing, how can we use that line of best fit to make a conjecture if they traveled 1300 miles? Well, based on where that line is, we can predict that if it was 1300, it would cross the line about there. And that line tells us the best fit value for that time. It might not be perfect, just like these dots are not perfectly on the line, but it's going to be pretty close. So at 1300, what's my Y value? It is about $275. So if you had a flight that was going to travel, 1300 miles, it would be a reasonable to expect it would be about $275. We could use this for other points on the line. Let's say I wanted to know 700. I could go up to the line. What's my Y value at that time? 175. So a 700 mile trip should cost about $175. Even though there's no dots there, again, we can use the line to make predictions. So once the line is there, that's what we're going to use. Not any more data points. Example two, make conjectures using lines of fit. This scatter plot shows the diameter of different trees and their heights. Use the line of fit that is drawn to make a conjecture about the height of a tree if its diameter is eight inches. So using the line, the Y value that goes with an X value of eight, here's eight for our diameter, let's go up. That's where the line would cross at eight. What is the Y value there? It is at about 24. So using our line of best fit, we could predict if the diameter was about eight inches, then the height would be about 24 feet. Check your understanding, read through the situation and use the scatter plot to predict how much money they would make if they serve 225 tables. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. We could predict they would earn about $1,050 for 225 tables. Here's 200, here's 250, so 225 would be halfway between that, which means our line is up here. This is where it crossed. It crossed somewhere around right there. Maybe it's a halfway between 1,000 and 1,125. Looks like it's a little bit less, so if you have somewhere halfway, around halfway between, which this is a not quite halfway, but pretty close, it's a reasonable estimate. So if you said like 1,060 or 1,070, somewhere in that range, you are on the right track. Again, we're just making a prediction. So for now, until we write the equations, which we'll do in the next lesson, predicting a reasonable amount such as 1,050, getting close is good enough for this lesson.